Hello. Good evening, good evening. Happy Friday night. Welcome to Cutting Up Crafts by Shelly. I am Shelly. How's everybody doing? Hey, if you don't see the little red live at the top, we're no longer live anymore. But you can catch my replay on my page. Hashtag replay. Let me know you watched. Good evening. Happy Friday. Hi, Amy. Amy's the first one I've seen come on. Welcome everybody. We'll wait to see all, who all pops on and get myself together here. How's everyone on this Friday evening? Hope everybody's had a good week. Pop on into the weekend. Hi Joanne. Hi Chris. Hi Roberta. Welcome on everybody. Thank you for the one star. Thank you for the five stars. Thank you. Thank you for the stars. Hi everyone. Welcome on. Glad to see everybody on here. Let me make sure I'm good. Everybody can see me. I'm trying to do better with this lighting. So I hope you can see. I'm trying not to use my ring light because it goes right into my glasses and it looks like I'm an alien of some sort. So um, if, let me know if you can see this okay. Let me know if you can see my space good enough. I know it's a little bit shady, you know. But I'm trying. I'm good. I'm hoping to get some down lighting back behind me too, to maybe add more light. So, hello, hi Roxanne, hi Risha, hi Cindy. Welcome. Thanks for sprinkling, hun. I appreciate it. Welcome to Cutting Up Crafts by Shelly. I didn't even put any lipstick on, but here I am. <laughs> okay, today we're gonna make a little. I don't know what you want to call it. A little bunny hutch kind of thing. Um, I figured I'd do something. Everybody's been saying, "Are you doing any bunny stuff, Shelly?" Are you? Yeah, it's kind of early, but I figured I'll do something tonight. So we are going to recycle this. This I got from, I think, the Dollar General last year. And it it's like a little house with open, it's supposed to be for a picture, but we're gonna make it kind of like a little bit, of, little bunny hutch, okay? So that's what we're gonna do with this. Um, we're gonna figure out what we wanna do. I'm gonna paint it and uh, we're gonna cutesy it up. Um, for inside where the photo is going to be, I picked out a really cute napkin, and it just says, keep life simple, and I'm going to put that on this piece of glass. I'm going to decoupage, dec decoupage it onto this glass, and uh, yeah, it's going to be really cute. And then I picked up some florals. These florals are precious. Look at these. I got these from Michaels, so we're going to incorporate those. And then I have this cute little bunny, this little burlap looking bunny we're gonna go ahead and use. See, I hate that, I hate that shadow. But anyway, we're gonna put this cute little sweet bunny on there as well. Where did I get this? I got it from the dollar, either the dollar store or the dollar general store, but it was only a buck. Yeah, so I got two of them. I think I have another one back there too, somewhere. Maybe not, but anywho, that's what we're gonna do with this. This is over a year old. And I, I kept thinking on things I can make with it and finally decided I'm going to do something. So, hi, Joanne. Welcome. Hi, Joy's Crazy for Crafts. Welcome on. Thanks so much for coming on, everybody. Um, I did get, look at these guys. I did pick these cuties up from Amazon. And um, I had my half beads somewhere. Where did they go? I don't know where I put them. Oh, they're in here. I did get some cute half beads. Got some little half beads. And what else did I pick up? Oh, I saw on another site that um, this girl was going crazy for these. Well, where are they? Is the question. What in the world? There they are. Look at these. She picked up these. I think it was Manda Panda. Amanda Panda Projects. She picked up all of these on Amazon. They're little keys. They're little bronze keys. And they go from medium size to real teeny tiny ones. And they were like $7 and something. So I picked those up too. So thank you, Amanda Panda, for the inspiration. I went ahead and got these. But I got them from Amazon. I got them from Amazon. So we'll, we'll try to find some cute things to do with those as well. Um, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. Um, let's go ahead, before we start painting this, I think we're gonna decoupage our, um, our napkin onto our piece of glass, which is gonna go in the center where the, where the uh, 
Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. Where the frame would normally be for the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Thanks for coming on, y'all. I hope you had a great day today. So look, there's so there's a lot of these. There's six of these on one. Now these this keep life simple napkin I've had for a couple years as well. And I was looking for something kind of on the Easter side of things, but kind of on the spring side as well. So, and also I wanted it to match up with my uh, my greenery today. You know how I like to do matchy matchy. Me and my matchy matchy. And you know what guys, also I noticed there's a, there looks like there's a bee, a bumblebee in here. So if you'd like to do bee crafts, that's something that you could use on a bee craft. All right, so here's what we're doing. All I'm gonna do is you be careful with this glass because it is sharp. Um, let's take this apart. Take apart our little napkin. I think it's just two. Yeah, it's not three. Let's see, is it three? No, it's not, it's just two. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my Mod Podge, of course. Hi, Jan. Hi, Giselle. How are you? Hi, Janie. Hi, Janelle. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> okay, got it. And we're going to put some Mod Podge down on our um, glass piece here. Thank you all for coming on. I appreciate you. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Thanks for coming on. Okay. Hi, Peggy Sanders. Nice to see you. All right. So I don't usually go on and do a Friday, you know, Friday night, but I had the day off today. I wasn't that busy, so I took the day. And um, yeah, we're supposed to get some snow here in Pennsylvania. So everybody's hungering down for this big snowstorm and all that jazz and I don't know whatever it is what it is right okay so I'm gonna lay this on here kind of want to try to keep it centered as best as I can let's see here I should probably do it like this eh. nope Whoop. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're doing, we're just centering this on our glass as best we can. Hi everyone, hello, hello, hello. Hi Crafter Creations by Gigi, thanks for hopping on. All right, so let's just uh, dry this up a little bit a little bit dry here because I feel like it's coming right through. I was going to say something really stupid. <laughs> I never Mod Podge on glass. Chilly. What the heck are you thinking? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this out around. And then if I have to uh, put some underneath, I will. But I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, so we'll fill these edges here if we need to. If it's flapping around, I'll put a little more Mod Podge underneath the corners. It looks like it might be. So I was going to get fish today and uh, 
I told my husband I to go get fish and we were chit chatting and I was as I was going to get fish all of a sudden I got caught up in all of this traffic and realized they were they were um, shutting down our whole uh, area because it's the main thoroughfare into East Palestine so actually I got tied up by the motorcade today I didn't get to see it that would have been something really cool to see but as I was going to get fish another lady said I come out and she said oh my goodness I was just up on the hill and I had to use the restroom at McDonald's and she said I watched the whole motorcade go by and I said oh that's really cool so it would be really something to see okay so here's our little oh there's there's an edge there let's get underneath here okay there all right so here's our little live life keep life simple ditty we've got here okay so let me make sure this is dry and I'll put another coat on the top of it maybe we'll see uh, the president our president was going to I'm not far I'm like six miles from um, East Palestine Ohio where that train derailment was so was he he was going to address that and address the town Hi Lori, hi Barbara, welcome on y'all. Thank you, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you all my friends. Okay, what we're doing today is we're gonna make kind of a little, I guess you would call it a little bunny hutch, right? And um, this is gonna go in the center of it. I probably should have painted our glass piece first. Maybe I could do that on, you know what, y'all? I just had a little epiphany. We're going to paint this side. That way it'll look brighter. What do you think? Hi, Roseanne. How are you? Hi, Dawn. Well, you know what? Regardless of your political, um, I don't talk politics on here, but I feel that no matter who's in office, this is the way I was raised, you at the time they're in you really need to respect them even if you don't like them that's why we are allowed to vote you know and if you don't like them you just vote them out the next time right so yeah any who's that's just the way i was raised all right so instead like i said i forgot to paint first before i decoupage this on I'm just going to paint the other side. What do you think? You think that'll work? It'll keep it looking light. So let's see if it works. Hopefully it will. Okay. Yeah, the whole process of having someone come in like that, it's, it's a whole thing, I'm sure of it. Now, uh, niece, husband, he, I don't think he worked today because he wasn't feeling real good. But, um, yeah, they would have all been marching in charge coming through our, our town here. Okay, just interesting, you know, just an interesting day. So, I'm hoping someone takes America back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi Lori, hi Karen. So what we're making today, we're making a bunny hutch. Kinda, sorta. So thank you all for coming on and joining me. And I did a boo-boo. I actually put my, um, I actually put my napkin on before I should have painted it white. So I just flipped it over and I painted it white, so. Anywho's. Let me give it a peek, y'all. Let me give it a little peek. Oh, I think it's 
it's working. I think it's going to work. Yes, he is, Jamie. Yes, he is. Okay, so I think our first cut's pretty dry. We'll go ahead and put two. My beads, these beads I purchased from Amazon because I feel like I need a bunch of different sizes. So I got some jumbo, meaning there's some real tiny ones in there too. It's probably for jewelry making, I think. But I know I'm crafting. We use a lot of beads, you know? What's this? Sorry. Emily, hey, my friend, I'm leaving work early. Right? Okay, okay, Kim. I know we're getting hammered here too, hon. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, we're supposed to get a good bit of snow here too. So we will see. I was wondering if I should have went down and took a picture of my book before it got too bad, but I know I don't know. I'll have to talk to my uh, business partner and see what she's doing. So, but she she'll go in. She'll. She'll go over the river and through the woods. She'll go by sled if she has to. <laughs> oh, my. So, yeah, this is going to be real sweet. Very cute. Thanks again for coming on. I appreciate everybody. Again, I'm hoping this works. It seems like it brightened it up on the other side. So that's that's our main goal, what we want to do. Since your girl here was being, um, you know, not thinking. Like I said, I should have painted, should have painted the glass ivory first and then applied the decoupage piece. So, <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Amanda. Welcome. Hi, Lisa. Glad to see everybody. I know it's 716 here, but I'm sure it's earlier other places in our world. So, welcome on. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, baby. Yeah. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Lynn. Okay, guys, I think this is going to work out. And then we're going to set this little friend off to the side. brighten it up. I think it brightened up. Look. Don't you think it made it brighter? I do. I think it looks better. Okay. So let's set this little friend right over here and it can cool down. All right. And now we put this other stuff aside. We're going to go ahead and we're going to paint our little rabbit hutch. Okay. So what I decided I want to do is I wanted to paint it, um, Oh, I wanted to paint it like a hazelnut and a sandstone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and paint it with our hazelnut, which is right here. I hope I have enough. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to distress it with the sandstone. Okay. I might put a little bit of antique Waverly on there as well. Okay. We're not talking politics on here. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just get off and come back later. We're not doing this. This isn't, this isn't what this page is about. I just mentioned about the motorcade. That's all. So we're not doing that on here. Okay. Okay. So let's just end this now. I won't, I won't put up with it. That's not why we're here. Okay. So we'll, we're going to end that conversation right now. We're here to craft and enjoy ourselves. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm starting out with the hazelnut. Now I'm gonna to have to be careful around where these, because these are like little shutters and they're gonna open up. 
So what I'm probably going to do is do this outside first and then paint the shutters last. And hazel, hazelnut's a really pretty color too, guys. It's a, uh, it's a, a warm, almost looks, almost looks like butterscotch to me, but a little less orange to it. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this up real nice. Hi, Tanya, welcome. Hi, Margaret, thank you, Margaret. Okay, so see how you can see our, um, look how pretty this hazelnut color is. And we're gonna add other colors with it, right? Hi, Heather Pagani, how are you, hon? Okay, and there are little grooves in here, so we're gonna try to get into those grooves as well. Trying to get into those little groovy grooves, if we can. <laughs> Might have to get a little tiny, um, probably have to get a small brush for that. But in the meantime, we're just gonna give this a nice, nice coat of hazelnut. Try to get into all those seams with a smaller brush here in a minute. Um, as I said, we're going to do our um, shutter last because it stands out. And who knows, we might want to paint that a whole another different color. So, here we go. I got this, I believe I got this, it was either Dollar General or the Dollar Store. It was only a buck. How about that? Look. One dollar. I think it might have been the Dollar General because at one point, I don't know if it was um, last, before the fall came out, if they were clearancing. Oh yeah, they were clearancing a lot of their um, uh, picture frames. And this happened to be there, on there, and I thought, well, 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 I think I might want to use that for something other than a picture frame. So I went ahead and picked up, um, I think I picked up two. I don't know why I think I have another one hanging around here somewhere so but thanks again for coming on this is gonna be so cute you guys itchy nose so yeah we're supposed to get some weather here in Western Pennsylvania um, you know I'm surprised they weren't telling you get your bread get your milk <laughs> And I know it's supposed to be like four inches or so. You know, that's not, in the grand scheme of things, if you're from a place where, where there's lots of snow, you're like, wait, what? They're getting all worked up over four inches, you know? But um, you know how the media can be. They can get a little get a little silly when it comes to stuff like that, you know? So um, it'll be fine. All righty. So again, this is nice to paint. I thought it was gonna be kind of an issue, but it, it's going on really nice. Oops, I kind of slobbered it on the back. I didn't wanna do that. So happy weekend, everybody. Hope y'all have some nice plans for the weekend or not, you know? You just lay around, hang out, do what you're gonna do. Just do you, right? Okay. So look how pretty this color is. Isn't that pretty? Maybe I'll do, I'll keep this hazelnut and I'll do my shutters um, another color, like I said. I'll do the trim a color and then do the shutters. I could leave the shutters white. What do you think? So, I think it's so cute. All right, so let's dry this. Well, I gotta go down to those little seams. Well, I better go in the seams. All right, let me get my little brush. Get my little brush here and we'll just, we'll just hit those little seams. 
as I said, guys, I believe I got this from Dollar General when, when they were doing a, um, a frame clearance, like I said. And it's been a while back, probably um, in the last season. So, I know, you guys are like, well, crap, how are we supposed to get that? <laughs> and I'm sorry, but like I told you guys, I, I pick a little things up here and there, but I'm trying to use what I have because I don't want to waste, you know? And besides, I got one side of my craft room cleaned up, and the, the side that I'm on right here, it's a wreck. So, I'm trying to little by little get things cleaned up and sort of organized. I know it's hard. And everybody knows it does crafting. Your craft room always, you can have it cleaned up one minute and the next, it looks like a bomb went off. But I think, you know what, you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I think when you're creative, it's like cooking in the kitchen. It's all right if you're a messy cook. <laughs> messy cooks are good cooks, right? Hi Molly, hi Angela. Aren't messy cooks are messy cooks good cooks? I think so. Dawn, yours does. Girl, then I don't feel so bad. Oh, you guys. Whew. The one side is, is workable because my stepdaughter is supposed to come pick up a few things that have been here for a while. And uh, she's going to come get those. And I knew I had to make at least a whole way for her to get through to the back area. And we have a storage room to the back here. And it's pretty big, but she has some stuff back there. And I had to make sure that she's going to be able to get it out. <laughs> Because it will be crazy. All right. So I think that's good. Let's just do this. We're going to dry this up and I can talk to everybody. Okay. Did you really, Gigi? Oh, Lord, girl. What are you going to do? I mean, it's what it is. <laughs> I feel like I've made a lot of progress so far. So like I said, I'm not gonna beat myself up too bad. I just wanna make sure that I can get it. Um, I got a, a drawer organizer my husband got me for Christmas. So I'm trying to put all my rub-ons in there and, and I'm gonna label what's in what, so I know. Thank you, hi Christine. Thank you for the stars. We do have a lot of stuff, right? We do, Gigi, we got a lot of stuff, girl. All right, I may have to do round two on this, unless I'm gonna go in and, uh, yeah, I gotta do round two. I can see too many brush marks, so. So have a seat, get your coffee and relax. <laughs> Hi, Donna. So yeah, if you would all give my pray for my my kids my my youngest daughter's family's all down for the count with influenza a uh stephanie's husband's not well his grandfather's not well so if you could lift them up i'd appreciate it um yeah it's bad my daughter mentioned on she she messaged me earlier today and was saying hi wendy hi bonnie she was saying how um, the flu count is way up in our area. So, yeah, thanks, Jamie, so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Hi, Kay. Welcome. Thanks, Katie. Yes, yes. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, I told my girls, I mean, I, I'm a Bible believer, and I'm not ashamed to say it. And I told them, my girls, I said, get your Bibles out and pray Psalms 91 over your family right now. So, yep. Hi, Peggy. Thank you. And I do apologize if I don't see everybody. Hi, Mary Dodson. If I don't see y'all on here, I, I keep telling everybody, I, I go back and watch my lives when I'm done. And, um, oh, no. GG. Oh, God. Hi, Diane. How are you, hun? So, um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, my daughter said that the, uh, the flu count was high in our county. 
which doesn't surprise me because that's all we've been hearing around here is influenza A, influenza A, influenza A. So, all right, so I do indeed have to go in with the second coat. So we're gonna go in with that second coat. Try and, you know, first coat thin, second coat, what do we say? Fill it in. Okay, do it the best you can. There's lots of corners and crevices on this little project here, so it will not be perfect, but we will try to do as best we can. Okay, just so I can get these panels. Yeah, this is a pretty color. Pretty, pretty. So we're making a little bunny hutch today. This is an upcycle of a, uh, a frame that I found on clearance at the Dollar General store. Normally behind these little shutters, this little area, you can put a picture of your dog, your cat, your you know, all your loved ones, whomever inside here. But I already did a little sign that's gonna go in there. It says, keep life simple. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go from there. So thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it. Thank you for all your love and support. I think I am only 35 friends away from 6,000. And guys, guess what? My anniversary day is coming up here. My one year anniversary on here will be, I, I think it's either the 20th or the 21st of this month. Can you even believe it? I know I can't, it's crazy. But I'm still having fun, you know? As long as I'm having fun, I'm gonna stay here and craft with y'all. But one thing nice about this is, if you're not having fun, you just get off. Thank you, Tonya. It's actually a sweat outfit. My husband got it for me for Christmas. And uh, it's super soft. Thank you so much. Yeah, the color's pretty. It's not real bright, it's more like a raspberry, I think, huh? Thanks, Pamela. Okay, so I think this is gonna do it. This is good enough, because I'm making a mess here. So here's our color. Look at it, look how cute this looks. Whoops. It looks cute with the white. Maybe I'll keep the shutters white. You know, go around the outer edge, but keep a little bit of white on there. How about it? What do you think? Catherine, I am, and I'm debating on the day. I'm not sure when, but um, I have to look at my calendar, but I would definitely have it on a, um, a Saturday night or a, or a Sunday night, so. But I definitely am. I've got, you, you know you guys, I've, I'm gonna let, I've got some Christmas I wanna let go of. I have some fall, I have Valentine's. I've got a lot. I haven't done one, um, an auction in quite a while. So if you're all, you know, if you're all on board with it, I'm definitely gonna get my things together and uh, definitely do one, so. And it would be, like I said, within the next, um, next couple weeks, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's try this little friend up here. And yeah, we're gonna keep those shutters white. I think I like that idea. really fresh with the white but I'm gonna do the bottom um, the bottom base I'm gonna use our truffle and maybe I'll do the truffle around the edge and then we'll do our uh, like I said our shutters will be I'll do them ivory I'll keep them ivory right Okay, so I might as well go in and start this up. Um, we're gonna use the color Truffle. Where is that at? There it is. And it is a Waverly paint. It's that real milk chocolatey color, you guys, that I really like. So we're gonna use our Truffle, okay? We're gonna use our 
going to use our truffle. Very pretty. Look at this color. I know it's hard to see, but once we get start getting moving here, I will show you again. But it's a pretty color. Let me see. I need a medium brush. Those are kind of big. Uh, that one isn't bad. Okay, I think I like this one better. And you guys, here's the thing. Now, I know there are crafters. They are fa fabulous at painting and things like that. But sometimes, if you can't control with a larger brush, use a little one. Use a little one. I know, Lisa. You know what? When I grow up <laughs> and have more experience, I need to get with crafting with me. I need to know. Listen, I could be making reels. I could have a supporter group already. But I'm just not ready to graduate there yet. When I do, I'm going to I'm going to get Telegram. I have Telegram for for knees page, but I don't know how to get it, you know. I don't get notifications. Well, that stinks. I got to figure out how I can do it. Plus, I have an iPhone. She's got a Samsung. So, we're going to have to sit down. Once the once the smoke clears with her family and the kids, you know, everybody gets better. I'll have to go over there with for a little for a little tutorial from crafting with me. Thank you guys so much for all the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let me just go in here. Um, I'm pitting the outer edge of our, um, our window sills. I'll just call it our, you know, the shutters and the, let's see. Okay. This is pretty, it just looks like a milk chocolate bar. It really, really does. Again, like I said, I can't go over it with a big, you know how some some wonderful, wonderful, talented artists, they can use a large brush and just go whip, whip, and they're done, but I can't do that. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you found me, Miss Lisa. And I'm so sorry that, you know, a lot of not everybody gets notifications of when I'm live. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm very unsure. Even though I read everything. Uh-oh, Rose. Yeah. Well, they do that. <laughs> um, I've read all the information on the information highway, super highway about things you know, that have to do with my page so I'm still learning if that makes sense so y'all will have to bear with me a little while longer so yeah I think this is going to be super duper pretty What do you think the truffle on the bottom? Do you like that with the truffle? I think it's going to set really pretty against the white. How about it? What do you think, y'all? Maybe, maybe I'll do it around the edges of the, um, the shutters, the sandstone, and then white in the middle. I think that'll look really pretty. I think this is going to be super. Is this super cute already? I like it. It's so cute. It's so fun. Okay, let me see. Let's get over here as much as we can. I'm not going to be able to get down in those little creases. Let's see if I can get in here just a little tiny, but... I don't want to get stuff everywhere. Okay, that's going to be good enough. That's going to have to be good enough. Okay, now. Now we'll go in, and I'll have to do the insides of the other side, so it's going to have to definitely be dr super dry, you guys, because if I have to do the insides, you know, it's going to have to be way dry. So let's set this over here. And let's get out our sandstone and wipe off myself. Hi, Karen. Good evening, good evening. 
Good evening, everybody. Thank you guys so much for the stars. I love you all. Out for your house, you should. Oh, use those colors. <laughs> I know, right? I, I love paint. I love color. Like, I do, you know, like you guys know that I do hair. I love color. I love color. And um, you learn a lot. Believe it or not, hairdressers, there is a science. There is a science behind it all. So, I know some people, that's hard to believe, but there really is. Especially when you're dealing with color and bases and what can keep you from getting orange or what can make you from your hair looking muddy, you know? You ever see someone, they'll flop, like my hair right now, someone will go to the drugstore and throw some color on there and it might be a light ash brown. Well, guess what? You know what color's in ash? Green. You know what's gonna happen on this blonde hair? Green. I would look like moss. Moss on a rock. <laughs> so yeah, there is the science behind it. But I do, I enjoy putting color schemes together. And uh, yeah. Thank you. This would be pretty for a house, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're gonna paint the interior edges sandstone. And like I said, this is what I what would you call like marry, marrying your colors. That's what we're doing. We're marrying all these colors in together. Okay, and you'll you'll see a little bit of contrast between the sandstone and the white. And that's all we really want. Again, we're gonna use the ivory on it. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't catch who that was. Something happened to me when I colored my hair. Uh-oh. Hi, Jan, hi, Linda. Linda Land. Linda Land Lil. Linda Land, where are you from? That is my mother-in-law's maiden name. <laughs> okay. Hi Betty. Hi Jan. Hey Jan, we're having fun here. We're just we're just making a mess over here. <laughs> I'm kidding. So we're painting our uh, shutters on our little window frame here, and I'm painting those. These are the it's the st sandstone. It's the sandstone color, y'all. I know you guys know I fell in love with that color. So I would probably next time you see me, my nails might be painted sandstone because I like the color so much. I wonder if I could paint my living room this color. Right now my living room, well, it's kind of close to it already. My living room is a really light, it's a taupe, but it's lighter than taupe. But I really like this sandstone. Hmm. Now you guys got me thinking because I want to paint. You have it in five years. Yes, Jeanette, thank you. Yes, I got the little house from the Dollar General. This was actually in the... Um, Sometimes you, you can go into the frame section and they have really cute novelty looking frames and I thought this was just adorable. This would be cute too, you guys. I just thought of this, of making this. You can make this into like a little schoolhouse or a school teacher and put ABC on it and uh, that would be cute as well. Okay, so let me show you this. We're gonna do a second coat, of course. But there, look how cute. <laughs> I love it. I 
love it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dry this. I'm gonna do another coat of the sandstone. Then we're gonna have to do the inside. So, thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Karen. Betty, thank you. Peggy, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Could have a picture of the students, yeah. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, Betty, it does. I'll show you in just a second. Because I'm going to have to do the inside of it as well with the sandstone before I do it. Excuse me. A second go. The truth be told, you guys, I may not, I may not antique this at all because I'm liking what it's looking like. I'm going to use, I'm going to put, um, well, I don't know, I was thinking maybe put ink. I might just put black. Believe it or not, it'll work. What else do I got over there? I might, yeah. I might use black, I don't know. Yeah, yes they are. Okay, this is almost dry. Let me take a feel. Okay, I think we're good. I just wanted to make sure because when I open them up, when they touch these sides, I don't want them to, um, you know, bleed onto them. So let's open up our little friends here. Here we go. And there's the inside. This is the inside. So when you open it up, you're gonna see the photo inside. Is that so cute? All right, so I'm gonna go head in, and I'm gonna to have to use the chocolate, or excuse me, the truffle here as well. And look, I see inside here, I'm gonna to have to go in with my hazelnut too. So we got a little work to do. We have some work to do here, guys. We have a little bit of work to do. But that's all right, it's Friday. It's Friday, we can hang out, right? So yeah, go into the novelty. We're all, like I said, where all the um, the frames are. And like I said, a lot of times they'll have little novelty looking frames. And this is where I found this. And I just, my brain was going 100 mile an hour. You know, you know, as crafters, our brains start flying around and we're like, oh, I know what I can do with that. Thank you thank you yeah hang out hang out with me for a little bit because you guys know I'm not on every night of the week so here I am but yeah I'm loving all these colors together like I said marry your colors marry them look at the color scheme see where you want to go with it and uh, just just giving you the heads up here All right, guys, so while these friends are drying, I'm gonna have to touch up a little bit here and there on my other little areas. So we gotta get another little one here. And I'm gonna get my truffle back out. Where is that little guy at? Right here, I hope so. There it is. And I gotta paint underneath our little windowsill here. Maybe get under here. 
is that when it opens, We might not be able to see underneath there, but. Okay, we'll get it on this side. Sorry if I'm not looking up, but I just want to get these little guys done. Yeah, but it, it is amazing what you can find to upcycle it the way you want, you know. I think that's going to work for the interior part of that. Best we can get it. Let's see if I can get it lower on here. Just to cover it up. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's see if I can get down here a little bit more. Now we have to go back in with our hazelnuts. What color will you use on the base? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Everyone keeps telling me I need to use a truffle. So I may use the truffle. Either it's going to be the truffle. I guess I'm going to have to use the truffle, huh? Truffle. Yeah. Okay. I need to get my hazelnut back out here. around these edges all these nooks and crannies what the heck oh well Yeah, I think I'll just go and use a truffle on the base, guys. That's, that seems like it's a general consensus. What do you think? What do you think? Just use a truffle? Yeah. We'll just use the truffle. We'll stay within the family, right? Yeah. Whew. Nooks and crannies. Get him on this side. Hi, Pat. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, you think so too? Okay. Thanks, y'all, for coming on with me tonight. This is the tedious part. <laughs> Can't rush this. Can't rush this stuff, y'all. Let me go on this side.
Okay. Now I got the insides done. All right. Now we're going to do our second coat of our uh, sandstone. And then we'll have to do um, the other side. I missed the whole side here, guys. That's not good. pretty good. Oh, fudge. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to have to touch up a little bit here and there. I can already see that. Maybe I will have to go in with my uh, Waverly Wax because I see a little bit of a little bit of ugly happening. Okay. So let's go, we'll take a look at this. So here's our shutters that I did already again. And then I'm gonna dry them, we're gonna do the outsides, and then we're gonna do our base. Okay. Hi, Alice. Hi, Luann, how are you? Someone else came on too, I can't reach that bar guy. Look, wait, look. But just know that I'm grateful that you're here, and I thank you for coming on and sharing some time with me. I am making a little kind of a bunny hutch. This is an upcycled, um, an upcycled frame from Dollar General that you can make anything you want with it. You know, you put family in here, friends. I was even mentioning it would look cute if you made it into like a little schoolhouse. So yeah, hi Kathy. So we make sure that these are done really well because we want to do the other side. Right. and as you see <laughs> where's my hazelnut I gotta go back in and touch that up because I accidentally got some I feel like got some hazelnut on there so got some uh, 
What do you call it? We'll get some hazelnut. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Darlene. Hi, Donna. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Let's get our second coat on the front. And you know what, you guys? I'm just going to leave those insides exactly the way they are. I'm not going to paint those. I'm just going to leave them because I like it. I like it just exactly like that. How about it? All right, now. What is that? Okay, let's get all this right up here and then we'll do our base and we're going to do the base or uh, truffle we decided hi Roxanne welcome on if y'all are just hopping on now I'm doing kind of like a little bunny hutch um, yeah, a little bunny house here and we're just we just married in all the colors we use the hazelnut we use a sandstone we use truffle and we're, we use white. So very cute so far. So as that's drying, I'm going to get my truffle out for time's sake. And we're just going to go on ahead and uh, start painting that base. Thanks again for hopping on. Thanks for staying on with me. I appreciate it. It's going to be super cute, y'all. Just coming in with our first coat.
Okay, the consensus was to use a treble, which was a great idea. Okay, look how pretty. All right, let's try that base off. And again, we're gonna go in and we'll have to do a second coat on the base. And then basically what we're gonna be doing now after we're through with this painting is gonna be assembly, which be just to zhuzh it up a little bit. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing delicate work, huh, Lisa? I just get real quiet because I concentrate so hard and I, I'm sure you see me lick my lips or hold my lips together. Yeah, I'm concentrating. Okay, first coat thin, second coat, what do we say? Fill it in. But I love this color scheme. I think it's very, very fresh looking. Go in, do the second coat. Let's get the back side. Alrighty. Oh, I see a big slobber. What the heck with that? Again, the colors I used were truffle, hazelnut, sandstone. Truffle, hazelnut, sandstone, and just left the little shutters on the inside white. I was gonna do them ivory, but I just decided to leave them. I just decided to leave them. All right, you gotta make sure that it's dried thoroughly, you guys, just so you don't get any nicks or anything. Um, when I'm done with my projects, I usually take them up and I'll spray them with a sealer. Uh, you can use Mod Podge if you have it, uh, gloss, gloss finish, matte finish, whatever you want. But I have a sealer. It's a clear gloss sealer, which I had somewhere, but I don't know what it is. 
but I got it from Michaels and I'll just spray my project off. I just spray it all over, flowers and all, if I have flowers or anything, and um, it really doesn't matter. So, hi Stella. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming on. Be sure to toss out the lemons for me. It helps out my page. just about dry here let's let that cool down and we're gonna put in our little where's my we're done a little square square carpet there it is okay this is what's going to go inside of the um, the frame area it says keep life simple isn't that the truth if that's at all possible right okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna open up our little shutters here we're going to open up our little thing right here we're going to put our little put this in here let's close this up again real quick Put a little piece of cardboard that was there to help keep it stable and we're just going to close it up here's the inside of our little house okay and that's going to stay out here and here how cute but we're not done all right here's what we're going to do next on top of here we're going to put a little bit of spanish moss okay just a little bit, not overboard. A little bit of Spanish moss because it is a bunny hutch. So you want to look like it's in its natural state. So we're just gonna put a little tiny bit. I know it would be, wouldn't it? Oh, see, I never thought that through. But that's okay because I have the idea, I have an idea for it in that area. But that's a great idea. A little window box would be cute. You're right. You're absolutely right. All right, now as I said, I don't want to go crazy overboard with this moss i mean i like moss but i don't want it to be like too much just so it looks like it's got a little bit of a little bit of thatch roof up there a little bit of roofing okay all right so look at we got a little bit of softness on the top not a lot just a little We'll trim it down here on the side here, whatever it, it wants to fall off, it'll fall off. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna do overkill with it. All right, now next what we have is, look how cute you guys. Look at these guys, aren't these so precious? These are gonna go on either side of our little house underneath our shutter, okay? So let's put these on now. Let me make sure I get the thing out. I want them to lay a certain way. I have them both going in the direction that I want. So I think that one can go this way. And this one can go this way. Let's see. Okay. And where they're going to go, we're going to close up the shutters. Okay. And they're going to go on either side 
pointing outward. Let me make sure I got this. All right, I figured I had this all figured out. These I got from Michaels, you guys. They were at 40% off already at, at one point a couple weeks back. So I picked these up at Michaels. Okay. And they're little carrots with really cute little embellishments. Yeah, I could, huh, Lisa? You're right. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this around a little. Let me make sure, because I want this to lay specific way here. No, I still want them longer. It's kind of look like trees. Yep, I'm doing them right like that. Okay, so what I want to do is these guys are going to go under the shutters right here. Let me make sure I got these right. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is I wanna glue these down. So we're gonna glue these down to here and then I'm gonna be putting some moss there. Once I get these guys glued down, let's see here. Why are they being silly? Maybe they need to go this way, let's see. Yep, that's why. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Okay. So we're gonna wait till this cools a minute. It's gonna be super cute. Uh, this is not a birdhouse. It is a picture frame, Chrissy. This is a picture frame that I got from Dollar General. And it was it like in the novelty frames. And um, I made it into a, this could be like a bunny hutch actually. So we're just gonna hold this down a second. Hi, Amy. Welcome all. Welcome. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you. I just got to hold this down a quick second. Okay. And we're going to put, I don't know why I did that because I'm going to put some glue right here and we're going to lay that right on there. Whoops. Thank you. Hi, Betty. Thanks, Betty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now hope that we're gonna this is gonna stay sorry it's taking a hot second <laughs> but it's really cute super cute all right well let's head to the other side Aren't they cute, Lisa? When I saw these, they're real dainty and it almost looked like a little carrot, like a little tree coming out. 
So I thought it would just be super cute on this. So yeah, I had this actually laid out a couple days ago, but um, the one day that I was on, I was gonna maybe go on in the evening. I just didn't have, have the spirit in me to do it. So this has been laid out since um, the last time I saw you. So. Hi, Tara, welcome. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on my little crafting journey. I love y'all so much. This has been so much fun so far. And like I said, if it's not fun anymore, then I'm done. But I'm just, I'm having a good time. It's totally relaxing. I'm, I'm completely in my zen, if you know what I mean. And um, you know how we all, we get in that kind of like oh, mode. And this is it for me. This is it for me. Okay, so we're gonna put these other little shutters. We're gonna hold everything down like we did with the other side. And then I have my little friend. What did I have to do with my, oh, there it is. Just give this a second. All right. We're gonna put a little moss at the base, okay? Well, I think we should put our little bunny friend down. So we have our little friend here, okay? And our little friend's just gonna hang out at the bottom here, off to the side, okay? I don't want it directly on the center. Excuse me. So bunny's just gonna hang out right here. And then we're gonna get our Spanish moss out and we're gonna just kind of fill in around the edges here, okay? So I'm gonna set this up. Oh, that's really cute. If it's, oh, it's not, it's gonna stay for me. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. So let me turn it around this way and lay it down so you can see actually what we got so far. I'll hold it right like this. Look how cute so far. Look how cute this is. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Isn't this so cute? I'm just put some moss down at the bottom by our bunny friend, but I just love this, you all. <laughs> Look how cute. I love the shutters. I love it. <laughs> I know I'm giggling, but it's adorable. I love the I love the way the um, how sparse the little carrots and things are. Look at that. And it doesn't need anything else. I mean, I'm not going to add any more to it. I'm not going to add any more to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some moss at the bottom here. Okay. So let's see. Let's make sure we're all hooked up. Oh yeah, you are too cute. All right, let's, let's add a little moss at the bottom and we're gonna be done. We're gonna put some moss down here just to cover up where our little um, stems and stuff are. Just to give it a more a little more finished look. Nothing crazy. And a little bit in the back of the bun bun. side there okay a little bit 
it around the side, and then that's going to be it. That's going to be it. I probably could put it all the way around. I think I should. I probably should. Nah, no. All right, everybody. There she is. You can see it better here. All right, gang, I want to thank everybody so much for coming on Cutting Up Crafts by Shelly. This is our project we did tonight. I hope you all like it as much as I do. I think it turned out extra cute. And it just, it's really true. Keep life simple. So, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on and um, follow me on my little crafting journey. I think right now I'm like 30-some friends away from 6,000. I can't believe it. Um, thank you for your love and support. I hope you continue watching me. So I guess I'll get off now and go upstairs, spend some time with my husband and relax a little bit. So I love you all. Thanks again. You guys are amazing. Be kind to one another. Okay. Life is too short. Life is too short. Um, enjoy every day that God gives us. And I will probably see you all tomorrow. Thanks, Jan. Thanks, Roxanne. Thanks. Thanks, Deborah. I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for the stars. I will see you all soon. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you for the love. Love you all, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'll probably see you on tomorrow night with something fun. All right, you take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye.